Hello Warriors, how's it going? This is Kassen. Welcome back to Dynasty Wars 3 Extreme Legends. Finally, we have completed the Donjuo Forces Trio. Yaocha, Lubu and Donjuo. Now, on the next carter, and also I have noticed it is the most voted during my pool, which, uh, really, the most voted guy, well, he's the next anyway, but yes, Yuan Shao. I wonder why you people voted him so badly. Seems like he's like <laughs> he must have an interesting story. From what I remember, he surely does. Or maybe it's because you guys like like him out of of the out of, of the characters that I picked with Sanjiao, Mongwo, and Zhu Rong. But anyway, let's go with the noble family Yuan Shao and build the Yuan Dynasty instead of the Three Kingdoms. My lord, today we march. The battle is as good as won. We will show them the futility of their resistance. My lord, are you fighting for our lord's honor? I battle for the sake of battle and fight only for myself. Our troops have taken their position. Oh, I'm so sick of of fighting Hulao Gate every fucking time at the beginning, really. Every start is Hulao Gate from Extreme Legends, really, man. God damn it. Let's get our le OP level 2 weapon that we got <laughs> on during Dungeon Story. Honestly, it's crazy, really, how. How many times I had to replay this stage? It's crazy. It's Ula Gate 24-7, pretty much. Like really. Ula Gate, Ula Gate, Ula Gate, Ula Gate, Ula Gate. However, it won't be Ula Gate anymore after we don't Yuan Shao because well obviously the battle of Ula Gate is the most one of the most important battle of Yuan Shao. But at least we are on the Ally forces and not Don Juo, like we always been recently. It was Don Juo of Ziliang who gained absolute power after the Yellow Turban Rebellion, and it was he who seized custody of the young Han Emperor and entered the capital of Luoyang to begin a reign of terror. Soon enough, frustrated regional leaders would answer a call by Cao Cao to form a coalition army to remove Don Juo from power. The man selected to be the supreme commander of this army was Wan Shao of the esteemed Wan family. In the year 191, the anti-Dong Zhuo alliance marched on Luo Yang. A fierce battle is about to unfold at Hu Lao Gate, Luo Yang's key military stronghold. I so want to ring uh, Shao Dun's voice actor and tell him it's Yuan, no one. It's no one. One Shao, like one, like the number. It's it's Yuan Shao, Yuan Shao, Yuan Shao, not one Shao, but definitely it's not one Shao. Yuan Shao, not one Shao. I, I really, somebody please give him his number, Google it, and send it to me. Send him, send, send, send me his number because I want to call him. And, hey, uh, an it's Lobu. Find and destroy. Wow. Different dialogue. By the end of this battle, Lu Bu will be dead. So instead of Sun Jian goes to the head, Kao Kao, go up on Fan Shui Gate. Wan Shu, you attack from the rear. Lu Bei, go on and keep on a Hu Lao Gate. No, we get a different dialogue this time. Different Hu Lao Gate is another, is another dimension, pretty much. God is uh, this level two weapon? What the fuck? He literally one shot enemies. Oh my god, he one shot enemies. This level two weapon. Jesus. Oh well. With with attack boost, he literally one shots the enemy. Ah, he defeated an officer. I like his defeat. His enemy officer defeat quote. It's actually, 
It's probably the best enemy officer defeat quote I ever heard. I know they're all this fucking same. I defeat an officer, I defeat an officer, I defeat an officer. But uh, the way you want to show say that is much better than everyone else. I don't know, it's, it's just me who thinks that, I guess. Then it's, then it's Don Show. Look, I have defeated an officer. Look, look. I am playing as you are show. Look, I got my bodyguards on attack mode after a decade. <sighs> I don't like Yon Show's design in this game, it's pretty good. Even to my very favorite, Yon Show design is the one in four. To me, not in bits, Yon Show's helmet in Dynasty Wars 4, nothing. I know here it's supposed to have um, the Ch a Qin Dynasty helmet. I think it represents the, the, Qin, the Qin Dynasty, uh, this, this helmet, I guess. <laughs> Which uh, makes sense, I guess, because Yuan Shao does come in fact uh, from a from a from a family who served the Han Dynasty from a decade it's since probably the first emperor Liu Bang. Well, the first emperor of the Han Dynasty. I mean, not the first emperor of China. Li Jue and Hu Jin. And that's actually actually no. There's Li Jue and Guosi. Okay. Ah, I have defeated an officer. What is he? Oh, I killed him! See, I killed people without even noticing. That's so OP, it is this weapon. Guys, really, this I literally got a fucking OP weapon. Can you believe it? A 15 attack can make a, a big difference. No, honestly, it's crazy. What a big difference he can make this. 15 attack. I'm gonna probably use with Liu Bei. When I'm when I play Liu Bei uh, on his fifth weapons, I swear I'm gonna use this weapon because Liu Bei's fourth weapon doesn't have any attack at all. He got a good muscle charge. However, I'm so tempted to try it. I don't know, guys. I'm tempted to get Liu Bei's fifth weapon uh, with the. Uh, Using the, this, this level 2 weapon, because it's way too OP with 15 attacks, it's really... It's too strong. It, it is too strong indeed. Zao Chen, don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere. No, 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 don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Stay there. No! Vaffanculo! Well, whatever. If you guys are uh, wondering what, what that means, it means fuck off in Italian. I might end up swearing my mother language sometimes by nature, naturally, so... If sometimes I say things that that you guys don't understand, it's because I'm not speaking English. And then I get comments. I keep getting comments. Oh, where's this guys from? Uh, where are you? Where are you from? What well, uh, what accent is that? My God, it's it's like they had to make it a big deal. Because if you're not American, remember, if you're not American, you're weird. To s certain people, that's uh, that, that's what some people think. If you're not American, you're weird. It's like to everybody, you either have to be American or British. So, you no, know, they only exist. Only America exists for certain people. Only America. Uh, no, even no, even U United Kingdoms. Only American. Literally, only America. They all wanna be. Also, I noticed this this kind of meme called saying uh, vassalized of Yon Shao. Uh, I do. I had no fucking idea. I how does that even. Uh, work. I know it's from uh, Total War Three Kingdoms. Oh, I'm gonna vassalize you, vassalize you. What? What is that? I, I've not played Three Kingdoms. Total, um, Three Kingdoms. Total War Three Kingdoms. I was uh, about to say Three Kingdoms 2010. <laughs> There's no game about that. <laughs> well, so, uh, so yeah, I know that uh, there is this quote of Yan Shao that says uh, vassalize, that he's going to vassalize people. I think. I think that that's the meme, probably. 
but I never played a Total War 3 Kingdoms, so I have no idea uh, how it works, the way he says it, how he says it, but I keep, sometimes I keep, get com I keep getting comments about Vassalize, about Yon Shao, I'm like, what? What, what, the, what the fuck, Vassalize? Then I saw Vassalize the, in other forums, in other posts, uh, about Yon Shao. Saying your shell saying he's gonna vassalize you. He tries to vassalize every officer. W what the hell, man? So please don't call me here in the comments and I'm gonna spam me with a vassalize crap because I have no idea what it is. I know I know yet what it means. Really, I'm not playing the game. I don't know why Yon Shao says it. He, he wants to vassalize, he just wants to conquer, I think. I don't know. I don't know why he says that. I don't know why it's so popular now. But uh, whatever. Father, please forgive me. I'm gonna vassalize the Alchon, I guess. <laughs> Literally, vassalize, you say. Vassalize. <laughs> vassalize my ass. Vassalize uh, the scrub, really. What can you vassalize? No, yeah, he's mad. Okay, so it's okay. I'm gonna vassalize Lubu. You know what? I'll join. I'll join this vassalized crap, even though I have no idea how the meme works. Because, I, like I said, no play Total War 3 Kingdoms, so I'm just gonna s spam it. I'm gonna vassalize Lubu. I hope I'm doing it right. If I'm not doing it right, correct me. I am Lubu. Bow down before me. No, you're gonna vassalize before me. I'm not doing this. I'm doing this right. I'm doing this right. I'm not doing this right, guys. Yeah, I'm not doing this right. I'm doing it right. Is that how you say it? Is that how you, I use the meme? Vassalize. <laughs> Is that how you use it? Please tell me. Tell me I'm doing. I'm doing this right. Please. I wanna know. Oh my God. He's OP. I can't vassalize him like that. No. He wanted to vassalize me by throwing me on the castle. You won't. Oh. I'm gonna spam him with charge one now. Seriously though, how can I vassalize him if he if he can be stunned? Even with, uh, with when double attack. Even if he doesn't do much damage though, so I can vassalize him fine, just fine. Uh, no, let me vassalize you! No please but oh lag can vassalize with lag. Deadlock lag. I know it's not the deadlock would that cost me to lag, but this area in particular, the, it's very laggy. Remember, guys, it always happened. So I'm in the la in the lag gate. That's all I call it. Lag shui gate. Instead of fan shui gate, it's lag shui gate. Lag in lag shui gate. I don't know what, what did they do on this certain area. I think they probably put some invisible items on the ground, I think. I shall not die yet. Yeah, the, the reason why is probably because there's some invisible items that are on the ground and we can see them. That's the only reason why it lags. So the developers forgot to remove it. So yeah, we get that piece of map. The piece of castle very laggy. A hula gate every fucking time. No matter what, even Extreme Legends, they not fix the issue. It seems. Which it makes it, it makes it think maybe next time they're gonna fix it, but no, they didn't. They did not fix it. <clears throat> now that I think about this is the first time I'm pursuing Lou in Extreme Legends. Yeah. The first time I'm pursuing Lubu in Extreme Legends and I've done it correctly. So I vassalized Lubu. I vassalized you, Lubu. Extreme Legends version, vassalized. <laughs> and now only Donju remains to be vassalized. Great. Now we will counter attack. Stop the enemy surge. Everyone aim for the enemy generals. Who's the leader? Who's the boss? You or me? See, this is what I mean. That's what the fuck I mean. Do not let down your guard. I mean, come on, he's he's okay. Yonshaw is right on this. 
He's the commander. <laughs> what the fuck, man? He's fucking right. Go, go. I'm the commander here. I'm the boss. I'm the one who's gonna vassalize you, Cow Cow. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna spam vassalize in this episode. So you have been warned. I'm gonna because I want I want to vassalize. <laughs> I jo I'm, I'll just want to join the meme, okay? The meme of Total War Three Kingdoms of this vassal like vassalize crap. So, cow cow, you're gonna be vassalized too if you don't stop le leading my troops. Liru, gonna vassalize you. Ah, oh, yeah, vassalized an officer. Oh, yeah, vassalized an officer. Oh, yeah, vassalized an officer. Need some help so I can va keep vassalizing, continue to vassalizing. Don't let the other officers get ahead. Kalkow's unit has begun pursuit without your orders. What? You asked me to be your leader? Yet you disregard my commands. You may think yourself to be better than Wan Shao, but... Cow Cow, how dare he act without my permission? <laughs> well, okay, that was quite cool. Cow Cow, how dare you? I'm gonna vassalize you for your impudence. Come on, Yon Shao, vassalize him to show who's the boss. You are a fool to try and stop me. You are a fool to try and vassalize me. Oh, I'm gonna vassalize all the archers for sure. I will vassalize every single piece of shit. Is that how are you even spell it? Vassalize? Or is it just I'm probably saying it wrong. Who knows? I might be for what you know, for what I know, guys, I might be saying it wrong, you know. I might. I might say it wrong, actually. Now that I think about it, I might spell it wrong unless somebody will correct me and ask me what the fuck are you saying? Or that's not how you spell it. I mean, I bet. I bet. I'm probably saying it wrong. I'm probably using it just in the wrong way. This me, I'm using it in the wrong way. But in the end, who the fuck gives shit? So I'll just do say whatever in the end, because it's not your let's play. It's mine, not yours. Last let's with Haro. No, no, my plan. It's all vassalized now. All my forces vassalized. <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. Cause I bet you guys will probably go, go. Your head is probably exploding by now. So I'll stop. We're gonna stop vassalizing. <laughs> Seriously though, Kao Kao really has been very arrogant to Yon, to Yon Shao, and obviously he's not happy, trying to steal his glory. That's why we're gonna finish him now at Guandu. Kao Kao believes he can fight us? With so very few, what a fool he must be. Kao Kao, why won't you join me? Why let your pride stand in the way? Listen! Don't let down your guard! Remember, we are fighting Kao Kao! Yeah, so be careful, because obviously Kao Kao is- What's this position? What the fuck, man? Have you guys- have you guys seen anything like that? Because really... Uh, what's going on? Okay, Yalnya and Wenchu, please don't die. Why your shot starts here? That's really weird. It's well. Okay. 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 
After a grueling battle, the alliance succeeds in defeating Dong Zhuo, but at this point, the Han Dynasty has lost all its power and influence. The alliance members head back to their respective territories, and a long era of civil war is about to begin. Among the leaders in the alliance, it would be the highborn Wan Shao who gains the most power and influence. After the fall of Dong Zhuo, Wan Shao acquires the northern territory of Hebei and amasses great military strength. His main rival is Cao Cao, who had seized control of both the Hainan territory and the Han Emperor. In the year 200, Wan Shao descends north with his large army. Cao Cao may have been a good friend, but now he is just another enemy to be defeated. The two heroes are about to collide in a showdown at Guangdu for control of the Central Plains. Okay, let's see how this goes. I bet Sasa will disappear. From what I remember, I think he does disappear. I, I think I think he disappears from what I remember, because it, it will be too easy otherwise. It, it, it just it, it can't be right. It, it really can't. Cow, cow. You shall regret defying me. So what I'm gonna do is like go to go after him. Go after go in the castle indeed. Then find my way in. Dude, that's all disappears. Then I go back where Yon Shao always starts. And yeah, kill all the officers, or at least I try. Uh, no, 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 this archers needs to go now. Oh, that's too many. No, 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 no. There's definitely way too many archers. Like, I'm not leaving all these archers here. Like, no fucking way, man. Sorry, but no. Like, really. Way too many officers. I mean, archers. Oh. See, look. What the? God, how many there are. No, that's way too many. We must fight well. Way too many, way too many, way too many, way too many. I wish they could have that cut scenes where, where Cao Cao uh, lures you on Shao for a picnic. Well, a picnic, just a, just a tea. Just he just asked him to to drink some tea, like in Three Kingdoms 2010, where Cao Cao tries to lose the on Shao, and uh, he asked him to have to have some tea, and that was all uh, all so he could destroy Yon Shao, till Cao Cao's forces will ambush him, and the sun will rise on Yon, so Yon Shao's army will be blinded. But that was too smart. No, like, really. Sato could predict the fucking weather, but... He couldn't predict the weather to be, which is quite weird. Like, really, that's very... Very weird, in fact. So weird also that Guan Yu got a short health, but the defense is massive. Like, see, he got a massive defense, but the health is short. The health bar is, health bar is very short. Oh, my arches. Finally here, my arches. Oh, yeah, kill them all, kill them all. Kill them all! Make them suffer, these fucking arches. One of the best cut scenes. Where my arches kill enemy arches. Like, really, where it sort of tries to literally say, uh, I'm gonna give up everything, uh, I will surrender, I will... I'll give you everything, but just leave me leave me shoot Chang because that's the heart of my territory. Oh, lag. I underestimated you. You underestimated the power of the one family. Oh yeah, go do bear with me. Uh. Don't get behind. Okay. Lu Bei, go around and keep an eye on one dude. How does that sound? Probably it sounds bad. It doesn't sound as good as Lu Bei, go keep an eye on Hulao Gate. Sounds, that one sounds so much better. Was this a power up? Power up? Nah, not a power up. Okay. Okay, so let's try to get to Coco. So yeah, that cutscene was seriously one of my favorite where literally they. Like really, it's almost sweet because Cao Cao feels—it feels like Cao Cao wanted really to. Yeah, he really wanted to talk to Yuan Shao. 
that's how I felt. I felt it like this. Like, I know it was just a plan to uh, destroy Yon Shao, but in the end, I feel like Cao Cao wanted really to have a talk before. Before, uh, you know, uh, killing Yon Shao. He wanted to have at least a last talk. Because it's also had a feeling what will happen. He knew that Yon Shao will die. So he will be defeated. Nah, really. It's quite sad what happens to Yon Shao because he does lose. Uh, he keeps losing and losing and losing and losing. Like, and his army gets reduced. Because no, like, really. He gets destroyed his army. Well, at least we killed Guan Yu, so I don't think I think Yang and Wen Shu will be fine. Oh, Shunyo! Oh yeah, Shunyo betrays me. You fucking traitor! You traitor! Yeah, Shunyo is the one who betrays uh, Yuan Shao because uh, apparently Shunyo saw Shunyo saw on he stole provisions from from Yon, from Yon Shao, apparently. He, he, he stole he stole provisions, Shunyo's son. So Shunyo is also... Uh, he was close to Yon Shao. I mean, to... Yeah, he was close to Yon Shao, but he was also a friend of Cao Cao. So... Shunyo knew how to, how to speak to Cao Cao, or to, you know, how to deal with him. But... And I remember the part where Cao Cao welcomed Shunyo barefooted. He literally went out outside his tent uh, barefooted and welcomed Shunyo. Like he was very pleased to see him. Because Shunyo was uh, the key uh, for Cao Cao to definitely annihilate Yuan Shao. Because Yuan Shao's key, uh, key strength was. Stop right there, Wen Chao. Wen Chao. Okay, may, may I say that this cutscene uh, represents the what happened in real life? Uh, because in real life, uh, uh, Wen Chao, Wen Chao, Wen Chao, <laughs> he dies uh, due to Cao Cao's ambush. So that cutscene uh, is, is an easter egg, a calling for what happens to, to the real life Evan. Because Wen Chao and Yang Lian did not die uh, by Guan Yu's hand. Wen Shu died because of Cao Cao's ambush, so Cao Cao is the real killer of, of Wen Shu. Or Wen Chao. <laughs> Wen Chao! <laughs> Wen Chao, okay, I think I heard that. I heard them all now. Wen Chao! <laughs> so yeah, like I said, the, the, the key for Yuan Shao's strength was his supplies of, of Wu Chao in the end. So Shunyo knew uh, who guarded it, which was Chun Yu Chong, uh, which was uh, all he think Shun Yu Chong was eating and drinking. Not here either. Cow Cow, where are you? Yeah, and you will disappear. Like I said, it will disappear. So where is he? Is he gone? Yeah, he's definitely gone. I don't think we have to look for him. I don't really want to look for him, to be honest, but we have to. And yeah, uh, pretty much, uh, Shun Yo knew everything about Yuan Shao, obviously. He was his strategist. Yuan Shao uh, tried to Shun Yo because he wanted to, to deal with him after the battle, after the battle of Guangdu. Uh, Yuan Shao wanted to deal with Shun Yo because. Because, like I said, Shunyo was sort of responsible of stealing true uh, supplies, apparently. Oh, this is like Wu Chao. Instead of the supply, we have to look for Cao Cao. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool, I guess. Show me what you've got. Ow. And yeah. So he had no choice but to join Cao Cao, his old childhood friend, and was... yeah, because Yuan Shao wanted to kill him. He felt threatened and he left. 
Obviously, Shunyo told him everything about, about Wu Chao, about Yuan Shou's weakness, about everything. You fight impressively. Because Cao Cao was, uh, was lucky on supplies. Then Cao Cao asked advice to Shunyu, not Shunyo, don't get confused. Uh, not Shunyo, the, the strategist of Yuan Shao, but Shunyu, Shunyu, the, the guy who served Cao Cao, the one who's obsessed with the Han Dynasty. Shunyu. Simple cycle cutscene. God damn it. Alright, we found Coco. First try. It's quite interesting. So, yeah, Shun, you told him to attack, basically, not to retreat. Because uh, Kao Kao didn't know if to retreat or. Didn't know if to retreat or to advance, but Shun, you told him to advance. Final showdown against the two heroes, Wan Shao and Cao Cao. So it's also advanced because he, he got the help of Shunyo. That told him everything about Wu Chao, and yeah, that's it. Then Shunyo got killed by Shuju because he insulted, apparently, after Guan Du, uh, he insulted Cao Cao. Oh, he's alive. Oh, he's still alive, okay, he's still alive. I thought he will die here, but no, I was wrong. So yeah, maybe I think Shunyo is a potential character that should be added, in my opinion, for um, for Yuan Shao. It'll, it's very good, it, it, it should be added, in my opinion. He's a character that really should be in, with Yalian and Wenshu. Kian Feng and Guotu as well. Some maybe the young brothers, but that would be too much. Seriously, man, we already have enough cartas anyway in Dynasty Warriors, so. Alright, fellow Warriors, and I guess this is everything. Thanks again for following me this far. I'll catch you guys later. Like, subscribe, comment, and consider becoming a member of my channel to access exclusive perks such as video previews and exclusive Let's Play. Current Let's Plays going are Samurai Wars 2, Dynasty Wars 2, and Samurai Wars Chronicles. Too. So, keep, uh, keep that in mind and consider it. Have a think. And subscribe to my girlfriend, Pretty Obsessive, and I'll catch you guys later. To the next episode. See you soon. Take care.